hi guys today i'm going to show you how to create a software using visual studio 2015 so let's go to visual studio so here you have a latest version of visual studio and the version is 2017 so i have visual studio Two thousand seventy. Sorry, it is two thousand seventy. So I am going to show you how to create a software using Visual Studio two thousand seventeen. Here I have Visual Studio Community Edition. So to download Visual Studio, you need to go to visualstudio.com. There you can see a Visual Studio IDE, Team Services, and Code. So you can download the Community Edition from the Visual Studio IDE. So here it was and after downloading you will see here you can install the software called Visual Studio Installer and it will ask for the packages which you need to install in your PC. This is the installer which you need to download and in install. So the installer will install all the features and the updates which you need to run the Visual Studio Community Edition. So here I have installed Okay, I just need to, I just, just cancel the operation. So let's wait for some time okay I am just going to modify so here you see I have installed universal windows platform development and .NET desktop development tools and that's it I have installed so here you need to go to the individual components tab to install the individual components which you need to run the Visual Studio Community Edition and I have installed almost the common tools and the next thing is the language pack I have installed the English edition so here I have installed both these things so in order to create a software you need to install both the environment that is the universal windows platform environment and the dotnet desktop environment so I have installed successfully and it took about approximately 7 GB of your disk space so I'm going to close this so let's go to the software here I'm going to create a new project to create a software so here what I need to do is I'm going to select the Windows classic desktop and a Windows form app and I will give it as a sample application just select OK that's enough now the Visual Studio ID will configure your environment to create a application So this is the application form that is the application window which by default will come while you are creating a project. So here you need to go to the solution explorer and just pin this tab and the next thing is you need to go to toolbox and just pin this tab. In the toolbox you can see all the tools which you need to design the form. I'm just going to select the button here so this is the button which you can create and the next thing is I'm going to select this form 
here you can see the name the form one so I'm going to select this form just right click and go to view code here you can see this is the code which you can use and here you need to write the C sharp codes to do the activities in your form and here is the class program which will load the visual styles and run the form and I have just created a project and I'm just going to run the project without editing any code to go to start so it has started to build the project and here you can see a exe has been created in the location and the project has been planned successfully so this is how you can create a form application which can be installed or we can be run in a windows 10 operating system or windows 7 operating system so i'm just going to close this and I'm going to the folder where the exe application has been created. So go to the sample application. Here you go to the bin. So here it's a debug. So I have run the application in a debug mode. So I go to the debug folder. Here you can see the sample application exe has been created. You can just double click and run the application here. Yes. Now you can see an application has been generated successfully. So this is how you can create a sample application using the Visual Studio without any codes. So thank you for watching the video.